and here we go. Here we go, baby. American road trip. I wish I lived in Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> Weird side question to that. What is your bedtime routine? The street's called Rainbow. Is it? Yep. Rainbow Rancho. That's living. That really is. Oh. Okay, so I forgot it. how good free Red Bull tastes. Have fun, guys. See you in a mo. Don't go too quick. We will. Thank you. Bye. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> What's going on, buddy? What is going on? How are you? I'm good, mate. How are you? Yeah, very well, mate. Very well. I was very surprised to hear that you were joining us on this little trip. I'm Pleasantly man. surprised. You didn't even know we were coming. Man the look of people. shock on your face when I walked in that room. I'm a road dog. <laughs> a question I wanted to ask you, uh, nothing to do with Vegas, but it me off. All right. Why the f were you a lap down the whole time in Brazil? Hi. I would like to know myself. I'm glad that there's a confusion on your side as well, right? So there, there was something about we should have changed the wing in the pit lane. When we went to the garage, that put us a lap down or something. I was just, but he, like, forget that. I was like, how are you? There hasn't been a race yet. Yeah. Like there's been two corners and then and there was a safety, safety car, car and then they flew the red and then flag. A red flag. So how can we start a lap down it, before yeah. the race has really even begun? So that, that was, and then it's like, oh no, you're not only going to start a lap down, you're going to start from pit lane. <laughs> so like, you take our dignity away from yeah. us. You take our pride. Like, I was, I, you know what? I was, I was nearly so angry that I wasn't. Yeah. I was like, I was so angry that I was just, just get this just done. Now. Disappointed. Yeah, like, yeah, it was, yeah. It was. So I wasn't like throwing it around or like losing my mind. I was. It just kind of flattened us. It just and it transcended was, into yeah, past anger. Yeah. Anyway, I think we could have got as many points, if not more, as I did a week before in Mexico. Yeah. So that's that's that was very frustrating. It must be refreshing though, in the same in the same breath, the fact that the car's actually there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's it's cool. Like getting the call up mid-season, I was I wasn't really sure because I was like, yes, I do want to get back on the grid, but I don't really know this car at all. Is it too soon? This and that. And then yeah. once I jumped in, I was like, oh no, like this feels it is, good. And, it, it feels like home. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And even like you, obviously your new team, like new engineer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even that, you know, I didn't know Pierre really at all, mm. um, who my engineer is, yeah, Pierre yeah. Hamlin. So it's like, man, I, I hope he gets me. I hope we're not just trying to play catch up and we're spending 23 hours a day on yeah, the track. Of so there was a lot of things that maybe could have not worked, but it's actually been pretty good. Ah, that's, that's nice to hear, that's nice to hear. Do you know Zanfort? Uh, we came out to Zanfort and obviously everything happened. Because we had our magnificent chat, what, three days before that? Well, I was riding shotgun with my hair undone in the front seat of his car. There's an odd sky around the room. Got wheel on the steering wheel, <laughs> the other on my heart. We had our magnificent chat and everyone blamed us for the chat because it felt like everybody that we've interviewed or done something with, they've then had a bad weekend the next weekend. Um, but thankfully, Carlos Sainz broke that. Um, broke that trend yeah it definitely i would say it did its best to like take the wind out of my sails or our sails as a yeah. as a team but yeah i felt like we did well to not let it kind of break what we what we'd kind of got going how did but, you yeah. bounce back like because you know, everyone says how much you smile and how happy you are and stuff like that but everyone's human and how did you, was it kind of family and support and friends and that kind of stuff that sort of yeah. grounded you and kept you sort of sane? Yeah, definitely like that, that stuff helps. And like, yeah, you, you, you don't do anything alone, whether it was, you know, my girlfriend, whether it's Blake, whether it's, you know, my family on the phone with me FaceTiming every day, you know, whether it's the doctors, the physios, like mm. everyone's kind of doing their bit to like get me through it and I was really, the biggest hurdle for me was the surgery because I I just don't like hospitals. I don't like needles. Even though I've got tattoos, needles are just different. All right, yeah. they're different. That's a choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, you know, fortunately the, the, the surgery was two days after. So like 
I didn't have to wait too long to kind of overcome that hurdle. And once I'd had the surgery, I was like, okay, I'm through like the thick of it in my head. And I'd realized like the place I'd got to, I didn't want to just fall back into something else. And I was like, no, no, I've worked too hard to get back to this place this year. Yeah, yeah. I don't want this, you know, like relatively small injury to have a bigger effect than it needs to. Um, so then I just kind of filled myself with more glass half full stuff. So then, yeah, I just started picking apart all the like the positives. And I was, other than dealing with like the pain, which I'm a bit of a wuss at, uh, everything else was, was pretty good. That's probably the first serious conversation we've ever had. I know. Uh, that got that got deep. That I know. got real serious. It's all right. Um, all right, let's switch it up. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm not good at this stuff, Danny. No, no, I love it. But every, cry. Uh, everyone's yeah. so used to us just being weird. Yeah. Um, do you watch the races back usually? Like, do you do you tune in and depends. watch the race or <laughs> depends? Because I was wondering whether if you didn't, you'd watch back Vegas just purely because it's like that's me. A spectacle. Oh, yeah, I did it. It wasn't a movie. <laughs> um, I, so what I tend to do is, so when we when we finish the race, we you know do our media, then we normally just jump straight into engineering. Yeah. To do like our post race debrief. Um, so normally I'll watch the race whilst that's going on. So I'm kind of like, I'll do my bit, but then once my bit's done, I'll like watch the race. I'll listen to like, you know, say for example, obviously Yuki what his comments are, but I'll like have one eye on the race. And so when you say you watch the race, is that like a, just a POV? Of your race or is it like so a, we'll have a like the full package, or we'll, we'll have like the full thing. race okay. available for us yeah, yeah. so i can watch like the tv feed i can watch my onboard yeah um whatever so yeah there's moments that i i'm so i'll do most of my watching after the race with commentary um, or, or without without commentary yeah, yeah. well only because that that like Distracts what we it, get yeah, doesn't yeah. have the commentary yeah, but um but yeah obviously if it's a race that i've like won then yeah hell yeah i'm watching, I'm watching <laughs> it with back commentary with a glass of the dr wine a... come <laughs> yeah. on yeah uh, there's a trend going around at the moment which i wanted to alert you about is um, it good bad or ugly i i would say it's uh, urging on the uh, the bad side but anyway so ai is very oh. impressive right oh. and there's this trend going around not a fan yeah there's this trend going around where ai is essentially mimicking voices right uh, and they're able to do it for the paddock and for formula one drivers and there's this trend going around where the, the whoever makes this pretends that they're le you're leaving a voicemail so it's like hey babe uh i just won the monaco grand prix hope you're well blah 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 and it's in your voice or in lando's voice or whatever no way. yeah mate it is absolutely mental and i wondered what your voicemail would actually be like, do you leave voicemails? Are you uh, no. are you, you I'm just, like You haven't picked up. That, that, that's where you know it's AI, or like it's not the real thing, because <laughs> do I, surely no one's had voicemail in the last 15 years, come on. Yeah. Like, I didn't know it's still a thing. Are you so a anyone that's still got though? voicemail, I'm like, come on, <laughs> stop living under a rock. But um, <laughs> I'm a voice noter, just because I'm too lazy to type sometimes. Okay. And I also just kind of just hate looking at my phone. I just, yeah. I don't really like being on my phone much. Um, so yeah, I will like a voice note and then it's their problem to deal with it. They can listen to it when they want and <laughs> just feel like it buys me time. Is it a long voice note? Is it like, a, I haven't spoken to you in a month. Here's eight oh, minutes yeah, yeah. of chat. Yeah, that's, See I'm normally overcompensating <laughs> because I'm terrible at responding. <laughs> You're just like scrolling through. Okay, yeah, so no, yeah, no, I'm very well. Yeah, uh, what's the next question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but the AI thing, yeah. That's Mate, it's mental. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. What is your plan for the off season then? Oh, once we like, let's say finish off some work stuff. So I'll probably after the season, I've got, I'd say like two more weeks of work. Yeah. Um, simulator and we go to Japan for like a Honda thanks day. Um, so like there's a few things like that, but then yeah, I'll get home probably around mid December and normally like till the new year just i mean i say have some time off i won't want to have as much off because again i've had most of the year off but um yeah just a little bit of home time and spend some time on the farm ride some dirt bikes and then just get into pre-season train i'm building like a gym um, you? on the ranch which i'm oh, really excited about mega. so yeah i think i'm just gonna enjoy home and just really get eyes set on 2024 and 
Yeah. You can get after it. That's gonna be mega. What are you doing? Uh, where do you normally spend Christmas? Is it the UK or? Yeah, what's... UK, yeah. I usually see Do family. you ever chase the sun or not? I've not never really. chased the sun. Okay. Uh, it feels like, oh, Christmas always feels like it should be cold and kind of at home. I'm a bit of a home bug, I guess, in that sense. Yeah, have a bit of time off and, and kind of celebrate the, the first year of P1, which, yeah, has been a, been a dream come true. So not as much, obviously, as sitting in the car with you, but... But that's what now having, like, having P1 having allows you to it. do. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what more could I possibly want, really? That's, it's, uh, no, it's mega. When's the, the, the Danny Rick podcast coming out? You know, where... Uh, can we can we expect something like that? Because like, surely, you know, when you're on your road trips, you have a little twenty minute debrief. <laughs> People would love to hear your un, your unfiltered thoughts. Surely. <laughs> I, so I I definitely went through a let's say pretty serious phase of. We spoke to some people about doing one and starting, and really? so we had some we okay. did have some conversations, but. I think the more that we started getting a little bit deeper into it, the more I was then maybe pulling back in terms of, right, I'm trying yeah. to like take things off my plate right now, especially sure. in like the second phase of my career. And I just feel like it's, I just feel better. Um, and like, yeah, you go through moments of wanting to do more. And now I'm kind of in that one where I want to do more by doing less. You know, you say about the second phase of your career and stuff like, is the, is the fire burning as brightly, if not more brightly now that yeah, you're kind of back and yeah, you're, you know, you're snug in and you're ready yeah. to go again. Yeah, it, it, it is, it really is. And you know, even like a weekend like Mexico, everything about that weekend felt like everything you just described. You yeah. know, the, the build up after Austin, all I wanted to do was jump back in the car. I was just so, yeah, hungry again and wanted it again. And I also believed again, like I was like, man, I've, you know, I've, I know I can do this. And it had been a while since I truly like felt that. And, um, and even, you know, after qualifying, you know, like, yeah, I was, I had like kind of those butterflies and that kind of like the good nerves. That's and, awesome. So yeah, like it, I was very aware that it like really meant something to me again. And that was, that was a good That's feeling. That's so nice. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Weird side question to that. What is your bedtime routine? How, uh, how do you get to sleep? Are you kind of like a lights off, cheers, or? I love, um, <laughs> so I love noise. I, 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 I hate light, but I love noise. So the room has to be really dark, but I'll put on, um, yeah, I'll put on a podcast or like I love UFC, so I might like put on like a, a press conference or like a UFC podcast or like MMA podcast. So I'll, I'll like li I'll f fall asleep to noise and normally like talking as opposed to music. Oh, really? Uh, yep. And will you then wake up to turn it off or? It'll, it, it might, uh, it'll probably be finished by the time I wake or I'll put like the sleep timer on it. Yeah. But um, oh, you just want but yeah. We whispered sweet nothings. Yeah, my UFC podcast. Yeah, I, yeah, you smashed him in the face. Oh, I'm so relaxed. <laughs> I'm also a bit of a sicko. Like I like the true crime stuff as well. Oh, they're so, so good. I yeah. might fall asleep to some dark stuff as well, but <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think I, I think I enjoy because even like say on a race weekend, you know, like you, you can't help but yeah, like say whatever after qualifying, you know where you're going to start Sunday, so it's easy to start thinking about the start in your head. All right, well, I've got this guy in front of me, this guy, so all right, at the start, I'm probably gonna go to the inside. Yeah. So it's easy to like start maybe keeping yourself up. So like, you know, listening to someone else talk from another walk of life is like a kind of positive distraction for me, so. I totally I'll, I'll get like that. It. Yeah, I totally get that. It's refreshing, isn't it? How many hours do you sleep usually? Well, I'd say like my average is maybe seven. Seven, okay. But I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm okay. I'm. It's just being on the road is hard to get that consistency. Like, so I'm, I'm naturally not someone that can just be like, yeah, I can get eight hours. Like, it's, 
I think I need a little bit of like consistency. Okay. And probably like stability in terms of a location and an environment. And also so, traveling and the jet lag. and Yeah, that's you, that's what gets me. You so. hear about other drivers as well and how they have their rooms set up a particular way, you know, blackout blinds, this, that and the other to ensure that they sleep well. Do you do you have your own little list of like, right, so I need True Crown to be playing as I walk in. <laughs> I need to, uh, you know, have no lights, but some kind of audio. I'll like, I'll bring an eye mask around in case like, the blinds aren't very good, so I'll sleep with an eye mask. But yeah. I'm pretty chill. I also I'm I own I sleep like especially some hotels we go obviously quite nice and you know it'll be like a huge bed, but I sleep on like the very end of the bed. Do so you? I don't have like a side preference, but what you're literally just hanging off. Five sixths of the bed is unmade. I'm like just in Why? a little slither on the end. I don't know and I haven't always <laughs> done it. But the last few years, that's just how I sleep and it's wonderful. I don't know if I like like maybe hanging my arm off the bed yeah. or something, but I, I just sleep right on the edge if and I don't really move. Crime, I just, I'm right there. If I'm listening to true crime before I go to bed, the last thing I'm doing is having any of my body parts hanging <laughs> off the bed. That you want to be in the middle. <laughs> yeah, just tucked in, locked in. Uh -huh. The one thing I think if I was to travel around and you know had a team to sort out a room for me, the one thing I'd say is a, a consistent pillow. Yes. The thing that really does me in is the pillow variations yeah. around the world. Uh -huh. Like, and are you are you a? Do you want a soft pillow? No, do you want a high foam, foam pillow? Like a, a good firm memory foam. That's okay. That's me all over. What, what okay. are you going for? This is See, when it's like, changed. I'm hanging off the bed with no pillow. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's changed over time, but yeah, I'm I'm the same. I'll, I want like something pretty soft, so I don't I don't, and I'm like I'm sleeping with half my head just on it and then half on the off, off it. Oh, so I'm like really? sleeping on the end of the pillow and it's quite soft. So I'm not well, really using much, neck, right? I'm not using like, much pillow. <laughs> you've got a pillow right here with your neck. So you don't really need yeah, one. Exactly. Yeah. That's living. That really is. Oh, the street's called Rainbow. Is it? Yep. And that one's called Rancho. Oh, right. I actually thought you knew the street. Rainbow the Rancho. There's a, there's, a, there's an actual sign for it. Oh, bingo. We went to a, on the way here yesterday because um, we drove from LA and we stopped to get some breakfast in a, in a town called, I think it was called Rancho Cucamonga or something. And I was just like, I wish I lived in Rancho Cucamonga. It just sounds so <laughs> just cool. Just write it down. Yeah. yeah. Like, where are you from? Yeah, a little place called Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> There's going to be someone watching this and going, I live there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny, a guy came up to me in the breakfast spot and he's like, man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect you to see you in my hometown of Rancho Cucamonga. He <laughs> really? said it, and I was like, oh, I love you. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it's so funny. You should get a place just so that you can say that, <laughs> yeah. just when you're in the area. I might, uh, I might name my farm in Australia Rancho Cucamonga. Do it. You, you got to name your farm exactly. something or your ranch. Yeah. This oh, is, is it. Your seat cold? I just realised your Ooh. seats on no, like that's full lovely. cold mode. That's nice. Um, yeah. I just <laughs> myself actually, but. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rancho Cucamonga, there you go then. What a time. You have to name that now, you have to get a plaque or something. It's good, yeah. I think that's what it was called. <laughs> this is when it's completely wrong. Yeah. Someone's like, are you sure? <laughs> oh, where are we going? I don't know. To the fuel stations? Nope, he's baited you. Tried to send you down there. Trying to just get me involved in some road rage. <laughs> Do you have road rage? I'm better now. I'm better. You're better now. Since when? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I went through like probably my younger phase of not having much patience on the road. I've never really been one to like speed. Like I'm not someone that's just hooning around everywhere, but I think I'm just, I get more frustrated. It's more if someone's like sitting in the overtaking lane, getting yeah. overtaken. The worst. So just like the it? simple road rules that a lot of people actually don't seem to get what is it like that a, like it's oh, just it just oh, yeah. bugs me oh then Verbal. i'll look i'm better now but i i would definitely get up close <laughs> to them to and tailgate and, road rage rehab or something yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's so good but no i'm okay i'm i'm okay oh, um gosh. it's uh it's fine i'm good